many people throw big big dialogues on my face indirectly they are the custodians of this spirituality of our country this ego is treacherously hidden guru is your mirror to show you what your ego is ahankara tatva and if you have come across my book so that will help you immensely for your self transformation many people ask me many people throw big big dialogues on my face indirectly because i don't talk to them so it is indirect to our team people when they want when they call and ask for the mantra initiation details and all that you may not be one among them but i am just telling you so that you know about how the world works around you when you are in when you become a shri vidya upasaka you cannot be innocent you will not remain innocent or ignorant i think ignorant is the right word because you would start understanding the world around you so what are what are their questions when they want to register the most nagging question that they throw at me is why guru ma charges fees for this mantra initiation and if our team person asks why not why not why should we not charge then they come out with a very big lecture about spirituality as if they are the custodians of this spirituality of our country they think they are the custodians and nobody else is given that responsibility obviously it is the arrogance of the ego which cannot be seen in our own self unless guru enters into your life you cannot see your ego it is so treacherously if you don't know the meaning of the word treacherously i give you a bit of homework refer to it in the dictionary and work out what it is why guru ma is referring to this word this ego is treacherously hidden concealed in you which only guru can see hence guru is called your mirror so you see only that what you want to see whereas guru will always try to show you what the guru wants you to see this tug of war is called self transformation <laughs> is it not interesting guru is your mirror to show you what your ego is and guru is your mirror because there are two things to this image and the imagery of mirror which you are holding which the guru wants to show you one is your mind when it comes and uh, stands in front of your mirror wants to see what it wants to see and it cannot see what it needs to see in the mirror so to say you always carry a false image of who you are what image false image of who you are and on the other hand what the guru is trying to do through this mantra sadhana or mantra yoga or mantra tantra sadhana the guru always wants to hold that mirror adjust it in such a way to your face so that with the intention what guru wants you to see about yourself guru wants you to see in your true perspective what you are who you are but the ahankara tatva in each one of you resists 
refuses to see what Guru wants to show you to your own self. Swami Rama makes a very beautiful uh, statement. I am sure by now you must have heard about Swami Rama. And you all know that he is my Guru Deva. And if you have come across my book, Messages from the Himalayan Sages, Timely and Timeless, it was released uh, almost a month ago. And it's available on Amazon and uh, Flipkart and so on. Many might have already read it. If you have not read, I recommend you to read it again. Not because I wrote this book, but because this book is all about the unknown spiritual dimensions of the relationship between a guru and a disciple. And it's all about the sages. So that will help you immensely for your self-transformation. So Swami Rama says something very beautiful. He says, I have come to this body and to this world to show you the Guru that is residing in you. What he wants to do? He wants to, he has taken this body with the mission of life to show you the Guru who is residing in you already. 